I'm going to do a manual install on the ST16S. This is going to be the H Plus controller. This is the 822 firmware that downloads on the OTA site from Unique. Uh, this is the app. There's two camera firmwares. One is for the uh, the US. That's the C version. The E version is for Europe and the UK. And then there's the controller firmware. The two that we need for the controller are the app and the controller. The files that we, we need are zipped inside of these. And so I have unzipped them and, and put them in a separate folder that I have labeled here manual install. I have one for the H plus in the camera and one for the controller. These are the three files we need to update the controller. Firmware, update zip, and the APK file. I'm going to select all three and copy those to a blank SD card. So right click, um, I'm going to send to my SD card that I've already formatted. We'll say yes to the warning. Say yes again, and yes again. Okay, now the files are copied to the SD card. I'm going to eject the SD card from the computer, and now it's ready to remove. The next step is going to be to install the micro SD card in the controller. It has to be installed in the controller before you turn on the controller because it's going to start updating as soon as it boots. So I'll install this in the controller right now. Okay, I have the card installed in the controller. So we'll power it on. And it's reading the SD card and it's saying controller is upgrading. Now it's going to power off and reboot. Now the Android system is updating. Android system updated, now it's rebooting again. Okay, it's uh, booted up with the flight mode. We'll exit out of flight mode. We'll say confirm. We'll go to the file manager. We need to open the APK file to install the flight mode app. So we'll go to the SD card. There at the bottom it says Unique App APK and that's the one we want. It's going to come up with a warning. Do you want to install it? We'll say install. So we'll accept the warning. It says installing now that it says it's installed, we'll go to open. We'll check the firmware versions. Go to the three dots. 
and you'll notice the dates are 2019 and it says March 12th for the controller and the app says March 20th that should be version 8.22 if we tap on software update it's going to ask to connect to the Wi-Fi it's showing the available eight updates for for build number 822 but they're the same file dates we've already installed so we're good to go that completes the manual install of the firmware and and the app for the ST16S